There's a natural relationship that exists between a surfer and a photographer. We wanted to document that. We didn't want to stage anything, we didn't want to force anything. We threw Stephen and we threw Dion into Mozambique with the GH5. Stephen came out of the water and what he was capturing blew me away. Everything happens so fast, so I need to make sure that I'm in the right position, the athlete's in the right position, that I'm not in their way, but also in the right place to get a great shot. It's a camera that you can put onto a steady cam. Next thing, you can put it straight onto a drawing, into a water hardly. You can get water all over it, and it performs, and it still kind of allows you to get brilliant 4K video. From a director's perspective, that took the gear discussion out of the equation and allowed me to concentrate on my subject matter and get the shot. All the broadcasters are looking for certain specs now and everyone wants 10-bit, 422, 4K. And, you know, shoot that from a camera that's at that price point as well is, is, is pretty special. You know, having the autofocus tracking was fantastic because, like, when Dion was taken off on the wave, the focus would fix on, on Dion and as he's flying towards me, the focus would follow all the way through in the shot, making sure that I capture, you know, the frame that I want. The, the GH series has always been known for video. Now with the introduction of the five, the still images from it are absolutely fantastic. And having that 6K photo function, 18 megapixel stills grabbed from video, but also the 20 megapixel norm, you know, normal stills from the camera, they're great. Having that extra resolution over the previous models is really good. Yeah, the Dual IS on the GH5 is really, really cool. We were using it from the back of the truck and I was shooting in 6K photo mode. It's silky smooth, it gets rid of all little micro vibrations. Hand hold the camera, lock your elbows in and shoot away. One of the key elements of the camera here that were, was crucial is the fact that it has those dual SD slots. That allows for a lot more filming time in the water because when you've got that camera in the housing, the last thing you want to do is bring it back to the beach. I think if you were going to take a camera on a road test and put it through its paces, we took it on a pretty extreme version of that. Extreme heat, rain and wet and sand and dirt and dust. We definitely kind of put those cameras through their paces and they stood up, you know, they were still working. We were really kind of pushing the, the, the performance of those cameras on the trip.